it's another day. And I know you're saying, yes, it's another Monday. <laughs> yes, as promised, here we are. And uh, who knows, maybe Tuesday, but as promised, here we are. And it's a joy to be here again in your space. I trust you are working through the space as we go through this series. And I'm trying to cap it out, you know, <laughs> but as everything else, all things work together for good. And it's about the revelations that come and the ideas of when people have been calling, when people call and share their, their appreciation and what they've learned over the last couple of weeks. I am just poised to dig a little deeper because I never realized this book disappointment had so much to it. But I'm excited about that and I'm glad you are too. So continue to share, put something on the chat, on the YouTube chat, or send me an email, Nation 9, 2018, no, 2021, is it? You know, you, 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 could, you may go in and see that, but we'll have to put that up on our screen somewhere on the line for you to remember the email address and, and let me know what's happening it, it's, it's good it's good to, to hear so friends and colleagues who watch and the broadcast have been sharing and i really really appreciate that i am not disappointed <laughs> i'm not disappointed even if you don't call it also, because i'm just enjoying sharing i'm sure i'm sure i i i you know, if I could share some of this, it, it is not something that I practice about being disappointed, but I found myself thinking about the word because I have learned so much to appreciate that people are and whatever they give me, right? And I am not going to look at if you come to tell me a bad story or you didn't do this or you didn't get this. I'm here to encourage, and that is what I like about my mind. I am not going to say, oh my gosh, you didn't. I have not practiced that successfully. But recently, as I started the, the series, I have been thinking of like with disappointment. I said, hey, you know, um, behavior, especially behaviors. It was a wrong particular behavior. And I said to myself, hey, that person could have done something different. And I said to myself, was that the disappointment? Hmm. Maybe he was the kind I spoke in, in the last cursed about that positive disappointment <laughs> but but you know or even for your own self uh, you would you could be disappointed that you did not do something and I realized that that word is now banding in my head a little bit for me to maybe have some introspection and see whether I have been disappointed or didn't acknowledge it but you see why I'm not acknowledging because I don't have negative emotion. I could say that up front. There's no negative emotion to you know fall back and say we for should I would have put it. No, I, I engage and I go forward. But I'm just thinking of the principle as, as I have the definition that I've been giving you. Do I fit that? Is it something I can work with? Let's say yes. Uh, a behavior. Oh. Because you see, why I said that too, I realize that even though I do not practice or I have not cast that day from disappointment. I do have expectations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, once you have an expectation, well, I think you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> so I, I, think I, I have to con conclude that because I have expectations, because they are expectations, I, and when they are not realized, how, how, how do I work and how do I? decide that that expectation is just not there and of course I know how to realign and find new accounts and re-establish new expectations but the reality is there may be that subtleness or that, re that presence of this point that I don't, as I said, honestly I don't identify with it but it's there, I, you see, I will not identify with it, that, that doesn't mean it's not there and I'm learning to be honest about these things. So I've come, I've come to that place where I have to realize that yes, because that I do have a condition, because there are expectations that some person don't realize, I may be like in a moment say, oh my gosh, 
Oh my gosh, yes. This one. So, yes, Dr. Nance can say yes. He, there's a disappointment somewhere in here because of expectation. And, and, and that, that, that kind of solidified the fact that, yes, we are working out expectations. Uh, as a, that, that, and that it disappointment is an emotion. It, it is. It is emotion. So I, I am not one to, to, to hold that emotion and say, yes, this is life. This is, I have to rally with this and I have to process this and I have to see what went on and who this and why I couldn't and if you had done this. Hold on, hold on. Next. Next. <laughs> Let's go on. Yes, this has not been done, but to, to, to open up another dimension of this whole thing and says, and point your finger again or accuse or make somebody feel that, like, hey, you know, I should have, would have, could have. And then we have all this voicing of a sorry, a sorry, I won't do it again, as against the, well, um, I don't even know the phrase, something about good one, well done. But wait, wait, there's a compliment. But so, so we, we have to see how, yes, we have to put this expectation. So, one of the key things about Kenneth is a dialogue, and that's why we ended last time. So, I, I want to continue this week and say the reality is, yes, that, but we have to learn that within this dialogue, and there, there is a reality of conflict, and, and how do we work it out? So that we, we have to look at some of the, the, the criteria that are used in terms of overcoming conflict. And I, I did allude to that maybe two sessions back, that conflict is really an issue. So here we are in terms of looking at conflict from, let's say, four or you know, five aspects of whether we will, let, let's go accommodate. Okay, I, I will accommodate. Hmm. So that's fine. I agree, but am I am, am I really identifying with what's happening around me, and how am I going to work this thing out? Am I going to say, All right, you you have disappointed me. I, I am in a different emotion here, negative and angry, etc. It just, just let me be. Some people can avoid. They, they're not going to participate. They're not going to say anything. They say they leave it alone. And I have learned one does not leave those things alone. One gets silent. One internalizes. One withdraws. And so therefore, it's not left alone. There's a nursing and a rehearsing. And, and there's the, the ideas in your brain, how you could have worked it, how they should have do it, what they could have do, what they should have said. But it's all about and not facing. So we, we, we can avoid. Some people are very competitive in terms of how we want to say, okay, you disappoint me, we go this out. Uh, but yeah, how we work this out? Yeah, we, we, we do the help me. We do the help me. You better get the better. You better, you better fix up. Yeah? Come on, come on. I get you two weeks. I get you one week. I get you one day. If you do that, I come back at you because you see me. I don't want to go through this twice. And it's so hard. You know how we like to point the finger and say it's your fault. It's your fault. So be competitive. And sometimes we may compromise. Compromise and say, okay, well, what are you going to do? That's how it is. And that compromise, let me tell you, you put yourself in that position where you start to feel poor me one. Is that an expression in your language, in your, language, in your country? I'm not sure. But you feel very dejected and, of course, rejected. And there's a sadness comes upon thee. And thou art on a sad continent. And then one says, I will. 
a candura liberta. Ah, tá pra você pôr essa candura liberta. Olha ali. Espera, ele está aí. Mas ele está aí também, ele está aí. Mas ele não. Eu tenho fé, por favor. Oh, bem. Yeah. I, I use the word yeah. But that's why my caution is about people who compromise because that could lead to really strong negative emotions that will capture very bad disorders. And people could come into the place where they are really clinically depressed and have other psychosis issues, uh, which may lead to a suicide. Because you're so imploding about this whole thing internally, they're looking at the mess and saying it's okay, nothing the best can be done. But it, that okay is not really an okay. There is a constant agony of the why. The why, the why, the why. And then from the why, we go to the if. If this could have happened, if. And we are there. And this is not the, the avoiding silence. In, no, this is the, the the verbal talking to oneself without really giving the answers and coming to in that place of solution. And I said to us, because that it is not for us to agonize or come against to attack the solution. We have to be a part of it. And so it's important for us to, to understand that we can come and we can avoid. Yes, we, we, we can compromise, we can be competitive, but at all those things, people find themselves feeling comfortable doing But it does not give you the release that you're looking for in terms of managing those emotions and going forward out of this place of disappointment. And that's why we came back in the last podcast, and I repeat myself here, so that it's a dialogue. But today I want to go further to this issue of collaboration, which where we can establish dialogue. And yes, but we are collaborating, we have to find solutions out of that context of where we are and how we are looking at that whole thing of dialogue and, of course, we are going a little further today in terms of how we are going to be collaborating. Now, you to say, oh, is that where we're going? Yes! We need to see how best we can bring the dialogue into another dimension where we are going to capture decisions and go forward. Because that is what is needed for us to work our disappointment. We have to, I keep using the word real life, but we have today look at the issue of how can I redesign, but what action am I taking and what activity am I going to be participating in? So it, 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 it brings me to the place where I am understanding my methodologies of coping, but I want to go further. So I am not sitting back here saying, okay, avoid accommodate and you know be competitive and compromise now and, and that's it because even though I'm suggesting the collaboration we can still find means in terms of the other four styles that you may have of your own way of coping to come into that place because I want you no matter what style you think you have whether it's a comedy whether it's a void to we have to go forward and, and those are not going to help you to go forward if you stay there. So it is important for us to say, okay, how, how, how do I do this? Let, let's take a void. If I'm avoided, how do I get to, to come into a place where I can bring myself out of just finding that silence, imploding, and say, look, I'm really feeling this way confessing my emotions and looking for a place somewhere in within the sphere of my mind and, and in my environment to connect. To connect. I, 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 and that is the key word. Connect. I must connect. Now, I did say before that once we're disappointed, it involves another person. 
So what I'm saying today is that I need to connect with someone. It may not be the person with whom you had the issue that led to this problem. It may not be that person. It may be somebody, but the issue is to connect. We have to come into a space where we are connecting with another to find activity within the solution so that we can find change. You may not achieve the exact result that you would have wanted from the first trial or the first attempt, but you are going to find your personality changing. And that's what I'm here about. That thing that didn't happen, didn't happen, but we are dealing here with the point which has to do with your behavior and, of course, your, how you think. So we are looking at a way of changing how you think by understanding that you are now in a place of conflict and I have to overcome that by finding a way to connect with another human being to work out my emotion. So, so we could use the word dialogue, we could use the word club, but it, it's, it's about connectivity. It's about coming into that space where I am re-establishing myself and wondering Hey, how am I going to see this thing uh, differently? How am I going to work on this? How am I going to, you know, establish where am I going? Where am I going? I don't want to find myself locked up in a room, not willing to do anything and not willing to come out of it. No, I have to enjoy life. I'm a butterfly. And, and what I'm saying here is that we can stay in that cocoon and stay in that cocoon for the few months. That cocoon. And don't want to come out. We don't want to connect with that. Because if once you are a butterfly, you are going to have to connect. But the butterfly is not staying in the cocoon. The butterfly is going to be flying and landing and connecting, landing and connecting. So we have to see ourselves connecting. So I want us to be able to find an individual with whom we can share. Now, as I said, some of us have been disappointed by very close relatives, loved ones, friends, but employee, employers, employees. But you can't continue to avoid them or accommodate or compromise and have that competitive contest trying to fight away. No, I want you to look to be able to say, okay, there is difference out there. I am also different. I have been disappointed, but I'm willing to connect. Now, in connecting, there may not be dialogue initially, but it's just about opening up your heart and accessing yourself to another person. And I could hear you say, hmm, you're making me vulnerable. Or oh, I could hear you say, hmm, you're exposing me now to more things. No, 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 no. Being vulnerable it's, it's, has its advantages. It's, it's about finding the honesty to be you where you are. Don't be afraid that somebody's going to not understand you or appreciate your position. Because everybody may want you to be different in terms of why are we even that way? Oh gosh, when I go stop to the, the thing gone so long, I am still sour, I am still sad, I am still going away. Then, hey, wait, 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 go move on. Hold on, hold on. You moving on. Let's call connect. And, and so therefore, it's important for you to really appreciate that concept of connecting. As I said, it may not be in dialogue form, even though dialogue is important. And that last podcast, we not saying it's called for the horse, horse for the cart. It was right there. Come into that piece of that. And I want to push you there. But you see, sometimes people take long to dialogue because of what? The lack of connectivity. To the, I want to, to open the dialogue, but I want you to see the steps. 
to overcome so that you can dialogue. You can dialogue. So that we are going to connect. A smile. That's a good thing. That means you have acknowledged somebody in your presence. A greeting. Are you going away? You may not say anything for the day, but it's a week. But it's the, you're opening a challenge to come into that new space where you are going to come out of your cocoon. Right? Can I trust the connector? Can I? That person's going to hurt me again. That person. Oh. I don't know who this one is. Anymore. The Buddhist person is just as bad as it is. Hey, hold on, hold on. We do not want you to speculate. We want you to be real about the fact that you are free to choose who, but do not choose somebody and have negative fears about this. You have to go positively. And you've got to learn to make the way as you can. So in connecting, there's openness, there's identity. As I said, a smile and laugh, or, or you will just throw out an idea and say, let's talk. So you, you begin to talk and share, and, and then one day it's easy for you to come back to that space and say, hey, you know, I really thank you for sharing, because uh, for talking, because after I had that experience, I was so disappointed. I have not been able to talk to anybody since. I have not been able to share myself with anybody since. And so that I, I'm very happy for this. So that it's important for you to see the connecting. I can go out for a line, I can take somebody, may I say this, to Starbucks, or to go wrong in a park, or to go to a movie, or to go somewhere and just have some fellowship. Learn to bring yourself into a new space where you can begin. Now, I, I hear somebody saying, so what about if it's your, at your home with spouse and children? Do a nice meal, spread the table, engage in the conversation, decide that let's sit down if there's a television and let's look at a movie or we can play a game together or we can go out to the yard and see if we can clean up leaves. You can do something even in your own space. To the cover report. Now why, why, why I mention that? Because I want to talk about that maybe in this podcast. This was the, the issue of family and how it pains a little more when there is this point of view. But you have to learn how to work with these people you eat and sleep with. These people have nouns that are not common to other people. And the people that, you know, they, they have identities with those nouns. But, you know, spouse, mother, father, child. Daughter, son. Those, those, those are really important connectivities there that are. I, connect, I like to make my own words sometimes. Connections or identities that are real to us. And it depends when your child would have disappointed you or your, or your spouse would have disappointed you. Or even I can go as a, as a sibling may disappoint you. But you have to learn not to cower and to get into that. That, that place where you are delighted and silent and upset and no, we have to learn how to connect. So it depends as it was in the beginning on somebody else just about you. It's also now very important that you connect to free yourself from that disappointment and re-establish connectivity to move forward and enjoy a new season. But the so I want you to appreciate that there is success here. There is going to be a new way of living for me and for you. Yes, there is going to be. So don't live in the conflict state or the conflict space. Come out, connect, and let's go forward. And let's see how best we can find that rejuvenation that brings us into a place of, again, homeostasis, where we are at peace, at rest with ourselves and those with us, with whom we live, with whom we work, with whom we serve, with whom we play. So, I'm going to leave you now. 
I'm thanking you again. And I'll see you as I start it. You know, keep connected and ask me. I'm always connected wherever I go. I like to connect and talk. And I, I, I'm glad for that kind of personality. But my mother must have been, you know, finding me, noting me to and God has refined it so well. And today it's 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 important. <laughs> We are going to talk a little bit about this again in the next podcast because I know when you talk about us, I said just that some people are afraid of rejection and being said you again. No, it's not me again. It's not the puma, it's not the caterpillar, it's not the love, it's the So, God's grace to you and God's peace as we continue to chop in the chorus. Let's connect, let's overcome this point, let's be joyful. Let's see our success, our success for tomorrow. Dr. Kenneth Nines, signing off on this podcast.